I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. I love the intro. Oh, hey, look, I found the car, but the car is not there.
First off. Badass now. Attention, people. Oh, look, it's the hero. Margot, it's night time at the station. Don't worry. I told I, you. I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. Where to now? Left across. 
across the square. Hey, Damir, do you think the colonel knows what Artem been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself the... with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer. Or to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom! We managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. No, you not the bad act. Sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep going. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Uh, Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you are not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Because I'm not Your here. friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Uh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. I'm a one-man unit. I'm Artyom. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. Oh, I can't.
can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You give oh, us a sneak, yeah. brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I Pardon see you're all me, right. gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom, a few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Hello, how you are you? You're just enough, guys. Huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> brother. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a yeah. I knew it! Guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. on, Artyom! <laughs> I wish I had phrase like that. <laughs> And more of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. No. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. I'm Artyom. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <coughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything will up here. I have a great trip going back. Where the fuck you go? Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A I'm flat on with I a don't kitchen speak. and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At about? least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? They probably heard us coming down from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. Ah, for three minutes. Yeah. I got three minutes left. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. 
I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. <laughs> hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for What's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you're right. 
Shot. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Accept this shit again, okay? Uh, how did you? Oh. 
Oh my god. Hey, it's you she's been screaming about. Alive! <laughs> you came for her? <laughs> All right. Yes. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. <laughs> okay. They took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Shit. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Fucking crash, bro. Oh. Him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Yes, I got shot. Hunter's badge? He stopped the bullet. Take this, bitch! Don't move. Attention. Control unit damage. Morons! We are at war! One 
that won't be enough for you now. You, what is you this must equipment? Hit. This is the universal broadband radio jammer. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit. This fucking sucks. Do you hear that, don't you? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to the hangar, then go to the so I get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. You would not. You are not covering me. Don't be a bitch and lie. Don't turn your flashlight on either. They could notice. <gasps> Artyom, incoming. Two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Don't turn 
so it could only be watchmen. What if it's the attackers? Well, then those watchmen just pay for it. Am I glad to see you here? Are you alright? I'm no, fine, fuck you. thank you. Alright. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the turntable mechanism on. Yes, I 
turn the turntable on. Idea 
idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line oh, now. Shit, the watchers won't let No, me. I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people so from other cities dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The order leaves no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them!
tunnel. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Alright, everybody, that's it for now. I will play this game more. I'm enjoying it better than the last two. <sighs> Alright, see y'all later.